Hi, oh, Sam. <laughs> How you doing, mate? I'm good, buddy. I'm good. Um, so we just briefly wanted to do um, a real short intro just for our awesome episode with Buster, a.k.a. Harry. Um, what an inspirational bloke. Just yeah. um, 88 years old, um, Parkinson's, uh, hearing difficulties. Um, come out of hospital last year. They thought the family thought they'd lost him, but yeah. come bouncing back. Goes jogging around the block every morning. He does his boxing on his bag outside still. He's had an incredible life. And like, like we said be- before, he, um, you don't get to that age without some tragedies. He's outlived one of his kids. Um, his ex-wife died. Another one's in a home. But Just, he's still got a larger than life character and, and an inspirational bloke. Yeah, and just just fantastic. Um, his daughter, uh, Claire, is it was was yeah. sat at the same time. Um, uh, just yeah, amazing family. He's had an incredible life, and I just I said to you earlier, he's boxed, really, boxed all over the world, didn't he? Yeah, but boxed and all that, over the, the RAF. Boxing. Yeah, um, amazing stories. He's just he's a real inspiration, really, and I think people could really take a lot from him and his take on life because he even for all these things that have happened to him he never sees them as setbacks he just sees them as like little obstacles and then he just kind of yeah. reevaluates and he just keeps going and he does something else and um yeah, yeah I, I, you know i found a lot of um a lot of inspiration from him and and sort yeah. of how, he, how he's lived his life um and long long after the episode finished we were still there eating biscuits and and looking through old photos with him and that's a yeah, real trip that. memory lane for him and something we could really get into as well i really enjoyed that evening and meeting him yeah. i really did um so yes enjoy the episode um as always like and subscribe youtube spotify uh jackie boy Shep on instagram at dare underscore two underscore dip on yes. Instagram. Um, on Instagram and join the Facebook group Dare to Dip. Enjoy yes. the episode with Buster. Peace out. Jesus. I see. I, I was born nineteen thirty four. Right yeah. now, in the thirties in Ipswich. There was a, a town hall, but it got burned down. But they used to have pr- professional fights there. Yeah. Well, then they burned. They never started the professional fights again. And then a, a bit later, they came along. I don't know whether you've ever heard of uh, people speak of them. There was a Sergeant Sutcliffe, and he ran what was the uh, he ran what was the. Um, Ipswich Lads Club, right? You see, and that was in a hall at the back of um, the ta- uh, the town hall. You know, mm-hmm. it was at the back. Uh, in other words, you've got the corn exchange there, and that was under the arch, just oh, further okay. along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was opened by the Duke of, um, you know, the old Duke uh, who married Mrs. Simpson. You know, <laughs> and um, and it, it was Ipswich Lads Club, and he ran, the, the, he ran the club. And would you believe there was a St. Matthew's Baths and um, I used to put the board over the, over the uh, uh, swimming pool mm-hmm. and there was boxing in that. Uh, uh, there was amateur boxing every other month. Really? And he would be the, the, the man giving the announcers. Yeah. And um, I used to go there and, uh, and then... Um, um, from teenage up to 20 because I was deferred for me apprenticeship then uh, and of course I caught uh, that was 54 I caught national service see mm. so um, I, I, and I'd already been doing some boxing like um, the Yanks were uh, the Americans were over here yeah. and um, we had English and American fights and that you know what I mean uh, I, I'll never forget because I'd had about two or three fights and they put me in with them um, with this black American. Yeah. <laughs> and he 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 looked like bloody Sugar Ray, you know. Yeah. And I had, only had about, and I was only young. And um, the first two rounds, he uh, God, he he nearly put me away. Yeah. And but what happened was he 
had been in the uh, service, plenty of this. Yeah. <laughs> but I was young and fit, and and um, Dad, I was just and I, I recovered, but he, he still won it, you know. Yeah. yeah. But um, there, there was all of that. Well, then, um, Dad, um, so I, um, I joined. Yeah. Let me know if I'm. Rabbiting on too much. Right, right. do you no, know what? Just no, keep going. No, yeah, we, no, we, no, we no. Look, <laughs> what, what, what we want from this is you to tell your story yeah. about your life because you, your daughter's told me a bit about you and you, you're a very inspirational bloke. So we want um, to hear all about your life from the start of when you started boxing and, and all the way up to now. That, that's it, that's it. Yeah, yeah well, 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 that was it. And, and as I said, that was, so, so I went into the RAF at um, 20 and I'd, and I'd just come off. And they used to have the boxing on Cross Church Park yeah. near the Round Pond. Right. And I yeah. thought, uh, and the Hollisley, Hollisley Bay now is for adults, but it used to be for boys. That's it. And yeah. I fought a Hollisley Bay boy and put him away in the second round. And um, then I joined the RAF. And I'd been in about a fortnight at West Kirby, West Kirby, you know, near Liverpool. That's how they say, West Kirby. Don't yeah. they say? <laughs> and um, the sergeant came round and he said, anybody in this bullet box? So I said, I've had the gloves on a few times. So he said, um, down the gym this afternoon. And there were five blokes there. And that was a matter of um, the six of us. And whoever came up on top, Mm. would be the squadron champion, you right. see. So anyway, but the thing was, I boxed, but these poor little sods had hardly, they were doing it for a scythe. <laughs> so, he, and, um, so when it came to the last one, it got no idea at all. So in the end, I said, right, that's it. So the sergeant, he said, uh, Bennett, he said, carry on. He said, um, we, I said, no, I can't hit a bloke who can't hit back. And, and this boy had got no idea. All right, squadron champion. Well, I um, I went through and um, they had what they called the Wakefield Championships. Mm. And that was, that, that old picture up on the wall there, see? That was the Wakefield Championships. Yeah. yeah. And um, I got, and I got right through to the... Um, semi-finals yeah. right through to the semi-finals and you know when you have like a, a tournament mm. they pick the best fighter of the night yeah well you're never going to believe it but in the semi-finals i got the fighter of the night yeah and he was an irishman and um he shouldn't have been there because i was novice he was open class mm -hmm. And he'd won the group championships, which was a championship up with, the year before. So right. he shouldn't really have been there. Well, they put him in with me and uh, I, I, he, he I'm killed me. Somehow or other, I got through, I, I, I stayed on points. Yeah. But the, the second round, the were they, were they three said, round fights, I'm thrown in the toll. Mm -hmm. But uh, you see, I got through all these other fights. Mm. And when you when you've been several fights, one fight after another uh, each day, yeah. you, you know, because within a couple of three days, I'd had about four or five night fights, yeah. and you, you're on. You're, Were they three rounds then fights? Uh, three rounds, yeah, yeah three, three twos, yeah. yeah. And um, I got in with him, and he, he was he was he was a business. And um, so anyway, um, and of course I got the best fighter of the night, and. Yeah. Uh, and I lost in the semi-finals, and he won. He 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 won it, you yeah. know, obviously, because he was. And to prove just how good he was, when I was in Cyprus, um, all the fights I had in Cyprus, I won. You know, boxing for the RAF. Mm. But then it got to a stage where I was going over to Mulder to fight the Mulder champion. You see, well, all um. Youth looks after you uh, when you're young, doesn't mm. it, you see? But the thing was, I was a conscientious trainer, but in the night, I would be in the, in the nappy. Yeah, that's it. And yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I weren't, a, a, you know, and the thing is, looking back now, if I hadn't have drunk alcohol, I'd have been, a, I'd have been better. Yeah. 
and uh, and I went to Malta, and um, and they needed a, a, a light middle for the team. And who should they send over from England with Jack Roy, who had trained the Olympic Olympic blokes, um, but this bloke who I'd fought. Yeah. <laughs> so he came along, and of course he's he's still mustered. He's even better, and. Um, so uh, I, I fought my champion and um, I lost on points to him. Mm. And I think, I think if I hadn't been on the boo, the booze had slowly kept caught up. See? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I lost. And I think if I hadn't drunk alcohol um, mm. with the lads and enjoyed myself, I would probably have beaten because this boy, he only just beat me on points, but I lost. Yeah. But the bloke who gave me a hiding in, in the thingy bob, he put his RAF champion out of the ring. Yeah. So you knew he, he, was, he, he, was, he, was, yeah. he was good. Yeah, right? yeah. And, and that was it. But as I say, and I, I, I came um, and I, I, I got demobbed and I came home and um, I, I joined, the, joined the police, you know, which was East Suffolk. Mm. And... Um, but I couldn't box because I was out at Stowe Market and all that. Mm. So I transferred to Ipswich and got back to the old lads club and um, uh, and up to um, about 39, I, I kept boxing, but uh, I was never as good because you know how they say, they never come back, don't they? Well, see, I'd, mm. I'd fought in the RAF in my 20s mm. and I was in my 30s when I joined Phil Force so it never really um, it never really uh, I I didn't didn't win too many but um, I, uh, I I I think you could with boxing as part from the training you can learn from books mm. can't you you know yeah. what I mean because I because I, I I remember on one occasion um, reading a book and I don't know you, you um, heard of Bob Fitzsimmons there was a Bob Fitzsimmons, and um, he was the bloke who introduced the solar plexus punch. Right. Um, and what happened was he um, he fought James, uh, General Jim Corbett. You, you know, you probably heard of these mm -hmm. blokes. And um, uh, you know, this is way back in the early 1900s. And um, and he's, he's he's fighting General Jim Corbett. And would you believe? Um, uh, he uh, and and Corbett, being a very stylish fighter, left himself open. Mm. And uh, and um, Fitzsimmons' uh, wife was his manager, right. and she said, "Hit him in the slacks," <laughs> and they can slack, meaning the solar plexus. Yeah. So as soon as the fight came along, he hit him, and it didn't knock him out, but it paralysed him. Mm. Corbett went down on his knees. Counted out, but couldn't get up. Still paralysed. Mm. But he said, he turned round to the referee, who would you believe was Wyatt Earp, and he said, "I'm not knocked out." And uh, uh, Earp said, "You are, mate." He said, "You were down on your knees. You should have been up." Mm. And he said, "You either take or get, let me continue fighting, or I'm going to punch you." And Earp apparently, <laughs> you know, this is all in the book. Yeah. Pulled his revolver. He said, "You take a step, to, and I'll blow your head off." Yeah. I mean, in those days, they did it, didn't they? Yeah, escalated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did it. And 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 the thing was, um, uh, you know. And then you had gentleman Jim Corbett come along. He, um, uh, I mean, he introduced shadow boxing, mm. and um, he you, also you he also that. introduced the left hook. Yeah, because he. Um, Hurt his arm, and the only way he can he could use it was to sort of hook, hook it. it. So well. in came the left hook, yeah. and of course um, now everyone's using it. Yeah, and that, and yeah. that was Henry, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Henry Henry's hammer. Yeah, Henry's Henry, hammer. and they called and and the thing was Henry was boxing for the army mm. the same time that I was boxing. boxing and thank goodness he never ever came my way, you know, because yeah. I boxed, yeah. but Henry was way out there. Yeah. And the thing is, when he, um, uh, 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 have you watched the old, uh, his fight with 
with um, Ali. Yeah, Henry Cooper. Yeah, yeah because, yeah. Uh, you know, the old cut glove That's bit. It, cut glove. Yeah. Now, the thing about it was when he fought, if you think about it, Henry, um, he had a, an, he had a, he was left-handed. And so they say, they used to say, they don't know, but they used to say, if you're left-handed, you've got to be a southpaw. Mm -hmm. But Henry was left-handed, and I'm the same, Henry was left-handed, but he led with his left. Mm -hmm. So in other words, he developed an educated left hand. And his trainer said, you've got such a good left hand that we're really going to mould it. Yeah. And you knew that every time, if that hit, hit a bloke's jaw, it, it was going to um, knock him out. Mm. You know what I mean? And... Um, and I watched that fight, and, 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 and now I'm told you, if you go back and watch that fight again, mm -hmm. you'll notice that old Henry, all through that fight, every now and again, and you thought to yourself, that that's only got to land, and and, and, and Ali's out. Mm -hmm. And he was, one not he, because you know, he hit him. <laughs> but the thing was, Henry um, cut too easily, and he was too small. Mm -hmm. I mean... Uh, he was never much more over 13 stone and you, you look at him today mm. and um, and, that, and that's all that. But as I say, but I, I was lucky because um, I had the same gift as Henry in the same way because I was left handed, led with the left mm -hmm. and uh, and when people think, oh, it's just going to be a, a prod yeah. uh, and, and you come out with a strong leading hand, uh, it throws them out, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know? And that, that, that was the, that, that was good. Now, you? You see, yeah. how, but, how old are you now, Buster? If don't mind. Uh, I, eighty-eight now. 88. So, so I'll be eighty-nine um, in June. Yeah. So I would say to anybody, um, keep fit yeah. because you've got it. Because I uh, was foolish enough because I, I I stopped going to my mate's gym when I was about eighty-two. But uh, now he's. Uh, as Dennis, 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 yeah, yeah, Dennis, yeah, Dennis McKecky, uh, that's my mate, he, yeah. and he's got a gym down in Felixstowe, mm. and that's at the um, Roman Catholic Hall. Yeah, yeah. he, he holds a gym in there. And um, next to there, you know, um, you know the Red Cross shop. Yeah, that's it. Isn't you it? know yeah. the church. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, yeah. Uh, yeah, like the hall. Oh next right, to it. okay, yeah, 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 yeah and yeah. he. Um, he teaches all martial arts. Yeah. And Dennis, would you believe, not one black belt, four. Yeah. <laughs> and he's a... Because we to get on the wrong side a, of him. <laughs> he's a six Dan. Yeah. And if you meet him, he's... A, and you'd never know it. But obviously... Um, so you still train the, now then, do you? None of the... Pardon? Do you still yeah. train now then? Um, uh, yeah, well, what I'll, I'll tell you. What happened, you see, was I um, got a bit fed up about the age and that mm. and I packed up training right and I finished up in hospital <laughs> is this uh, at 82 yeah. you packed up yeah. I finished up in hospital yeah. and mm. um, rushed away by an ambulance all that I went through all that what, what was that and for? then I sat down one day and I thought well when I was younger if I had a fight coming up I'd get in training yeah so I thought I want to try it and I thought, that ain't going to work, but I'll try it. And I got outside and I started doing the shadow box. And was this all, after, the bag. after you went to hospital, this is when you, uh, yeah, you the, went this back was, up? Yeah, because you've this got Parkinson's. In the last so. year or so, you see, yeah. in, uh, you know. Because a few years and, ago, uh, Dad yeah. was diagnosed yeah. with, you were diagnosed with Parkinson's, weren't that, you? Yeah, So yeah. it slowed up. Yeah, because I've, yeah. I've got the old Parkinson's as well, see. Yeah. So, but... Um, uh, so I take um, take drops for the old eyes because I've had just had a cat. I've, I've had both cataracts removed. Yeah. And 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 I'm I'm, I'm, I'm deaf as well. <laughs> you know, I said after that. I mean, I've got all these things, yeah. and um, and I got out there, and I found I could do it, and yeah. I can I can get out there now, do four rounds shadow boxing, four rounds on the bag upstairs exercises. You know. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and I'm um, I'm um, um, <laughs> you just shut yeah, yeah. 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 You didn't have to pull yeah. any belly yeah. when you said that. <laughs> you know, but it, but it, it was and uh, 
and it works and I'll, I'll recommend it to anybody yeah you know because uh, get, get what's your it. what's your routine then so um, do you so uh, well, a daily it, routine it, it says I mainly um, um, my routine is um, a, a, a walk round the block yeah. or across the field and you might have seen well, I've got a couple of hiking poles you know yeah. as well and um, and then as I say for um, um, I'll, I'll sort, of, sort of do two sets uh, I'll do um, a workout in the morning a workout in the afternoon mm. um, two rounds two rounds and then that makes up eight in the course of the day you know mm. what I mean <laughs> and um, a few exercises that I got off my computer on the legs and feet mm. and um, and uh, uh, doing that um, uh, is uh, you know because when I went to hospital and that um, I, I, I'll tell you when you when you get older sometimes not all of them but some of these doctors male and female they treat you like shite really? you know what I mean they they talk down to you as much as you oh he, he's an old man he's a and I, I couldn't take that mm. and I thought um, and um, I'm never going to be the same but I've I've got my confidence back I think well. Don't pick on me now, mate, because I'm I'm um, I'm not back, but I'm half back. You, you know, give my left hook, and and that's <laughs> it. yeah, and um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and so uh, so that's it. But uh, but as I say, um, do you do you lads re read the old books on boxing a lot? Or I'm not much of a reader myself. He he's more into it. I've got, I'm doing a charity um, fight in June, but it's the first time I've ever stepped into a ring, uh, really. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so you, you are going to box yourself. Yeah. For a charity. Yeah. 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 Uh, um, so, uh, so are you saying you, you, you haven't boxed before? I haven't done it before. No. So it was on my bucket list that I've always That'll be wanted like to your try. First it. Fight, yeah, right? it will be. Yeah. I don't really yeah. know what I'm letting myself yeah. in for. Perhaps so, you can help me. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 So, um, do, do you, um, both go to, with Jim or yeah there's a there's a Felix Stone you've, you've done you've got you've yeah. had a lot of experience I think, I think, with it right. Leisure, Leisure yeah. Centre or yeah, um, yeah. yeah. FXT yeah. boxing yeah. in Felix Stone yeah. I do oh, really? it for yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, there's uh, a boxing club in Felix yeah there's a little yeah. one she's moving um, uh, she's got a little gym at the minute but she's in the process of moving to a bigger one in oh Felix yeah. yeah just round the corner from the Grosvenor I don't know if you know it uh, the, round the corner from the Grosvenor pub in Felixstowe, near Town Centre. Oh, is it? Yeah. Because there's a home down there, and there's an old people's home down there's there. There's loads well. in Felixstowe. I've got, a couple of, <laughs> I've got a couple of sisters in there. Have you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll um, have to come down one time, check it out. Well, uh, well, this is it. it uh, you let Be uh, Claire know. Yeah. And then... Um, uh, and then I can contact me, because I've got a, ta a taxi, and... Um, and I, I don't make strangers of people. Like the thing is, my taxi driver now. I've been with him for some time. He's not my taxi driver. He's my mate. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. And um, and for my um, my first wife, um, uh, Claire's mum is my second wife. Mm. But my first wife, I never ever fell out with her. Yeah. But she's an eighty-two year old lady now, and she's housebound. Right. So. Uh, every Thursday, I um, um, go down to the old. Do you know the chicken and chips in Felix, though? The, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, yeah, favourite chicken. Smash and blokes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, they're all my mates. You yeah. know, I go in there and I say, Harry, you know what I mean? Because that's the way to be, isn't it? Yeah. And, um, and uh, as I say, um, uh, so I uh, uh, and and I have that chicken and chips and all that. Mm. And since the hospital and all that, I ha I've got myself right. In other words, since uh, um, my big problem was constipation and that, yeah. and um, I've got that all right. So each day, after the time, you know, and um, and the thing is, and I'm now eating three times as much. As when I went to hospital, because not only Burning did I off. not only did I get unhealthy, but I almost stopped eating. You know, I yeah. just didn't want. Have, uh, have there you, was one time. Have you when always I, ate, ate well throughout? I know you drank a lot. You said when you were younger, but did when you were boxing and that did you focus on what you oh, were yeah. eating and that? I, I, yeah. I ate well. Yeah, yeah, yeah I ate oh, well. And, and as I said, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm eating well now. Yeah, yeah. and um, and so. Um, 
uh, uh, you know, so so uh, so that that has helped mm. because um, um, and I take me tablets and me drops and all that. Is, it, is your yeah. tablets for your Parkinson's then? Do you, is your tablets for your Parkinson's? Uh, for the Parkinson's, uh, that's a stanic tablet. So yeah. you take four a day. And, um, and what, the, what side effects do you get with your Parkinson's? Um, I, I'm, I'm very lucky. I don't, I don't get a lot of side no, effects. Do you reckon that's because you do the exercising and stuff? Do you think that's what's keeping it at, at bay? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I, as, as far as I'm concerned, you've got to have the tablets. I mean, the doctors yeah. know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. But to my way of thinking, it's the exercise that's done me more good, mm. you know, because you're on the move. So you, yeah. and that's why I don't get constipated now, you yeah. know. Because, and having um, a routine, going around the block, walking, and then knowing that you're going to get out there in the gym, yeah. and that a routine is exactly. very good. It for, keeps yeah, you going, definitely, doesn't it? Mate. Yeah, yeah, 100%. yeah. So uh, anyway, we we we've got to talk about your. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I hate talking so, about myself. So, <laughs> yeah, so, so when when he, when he, when do you think your fight is coming off? It's it's June. 18th. 18th. Uh, June the 18th, oh, yeah. Uh, June, June, yeah. June, is it? June, yeah. You'll have to come down, I'll get you a ticket. Uh, yeah. If, if yeah. you ever need a lift and you can come down to the to the gym and that, I'll come and grab you, we'll go down to the gym, yeah. you can show me your yeah. point, isn't well, it? Well, as I say, Leo's is one with Deb, yeah, uh, definitely. with Claire. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> I've had yeah. four daughters, you see. So, yeah. um, the first one, Deborah, uh, up there, yeah. she's... Uh, she died, little old girl. When she she was sixty, you know, because me yeah. being eighty, she would be. Yeah. She she died when she was sixty, but um, oh, and of course, um, uh, that's Ma uh, that's Claire's mum. Um, she uh, she died when she was thirty nine. No, 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 she was uh, 40, didn't she? Forty eight. Was she? She was forty forty eight. Forty eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, and and um, I mean. And then, and then that was my my first wife up there mm -hmm. with all with me uh, with Claire's brother and uh, sisters, you see, mm, yeah. and um, and although um, uh, Claire has one mum and and the rest have, have another mum, yeah. my, my other youngest uh, daughter by the first marriage, mm. she turned to me one day. She said, "Claire might have another one." She said, "But as far as I'm concerned." Claire is my full sister. Yeah. You know, they don't think of one another. Yeah, family's Claire, family. Isn't it? Claire yeah. is now. Yeah. We're, we're all together. You know. Yeah, family's and, family, isn't it? And uh, and the thing is, Claire is as as a her mother was a Ferguson, you know, and all that sort yeah. of thing. And um, and um, obviously, her mother was twenty one years younger than me. Yeah. You see. And she and I thought I would go for her, but mm. she had a little complaint, didn't she? You know, mm. and um, and that was it. But as I say, yeah, you, you can um, let Claire uh, let Claire know, mm. and um, and then um, uh, if you what come up and work out on the yeah, bag definitely. and all that. Well, you've got the experience, haven't you? <laughs> uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, the thing is, um, I'm. I'm one of these. I I haven't got any time for bully boys because mm. um, uh, you know you, you're always going to get these clever idiots. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. like I um, as I said, I used to go to Dennis's gym and finish when I was 82, and right up to 82 because he um, he had me through the old kickboxing, but because uh, he runs all the martial arts, you yeah. see, but. Um, you do I, just I, prefer the normal boxing, did you? Uh, yeah. I, did you um, give it a go, the kickboxing? I mean, Claire, did you? Claire could kick high and her mother could kick high. I always uh, prefer you know, boxing. But, yeah. um, did you do boxing as well? When did I was you? little, Dad she, used to... She sparred with the men. She, she, <laughs> I can tell you, she, <laughs> she's good. Yeah. She's good. Dad she's, yeah. used to yeah. try yeah. and teach me yeah. to she, like, uh, get in a... A mood and yeah. my dad, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Well, my dad was my football manager, so I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's it. Yeah. Red gloves down. Yeah. But yeah. I, she, I yeah. preferred um, boxing to... I'm very right. proud of her. She's, she, she's a Yeah, well, she's very girl. proud of you as well. She sent oh, me a well, lovely well, message about you, I, about you, and that's I, why I, we I wanted to come up here. I've been a... Like the CV is... Yeah, no, it's To be fair, she sent me a message about you. Up until about... Well, in my seventies, 
I did the old Christmas Day swims, yeah. but um, when I got towards 80, I... Uh, yeah, I thought oh, we've had a uh, well-deserved uh, rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think when I get to 80, I might pack it in as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How, did you, how did you find that, the, the, the dips on Christmas Day in the, in the water? Did you feel good when you come out? Um, uh, yeah, you felt, you felt fresh, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. it but certainly wakes you, you up. You never it? stayed in long, no. but, but funnily enough, the Parkinson's um, disease took it away from me because I, uh, last year, because uh, I hadn't been swimming for some time, and last year I um, I said to one of my nephews, uh, one of my grandsons, um, you know, um, will you come with me swimming? And we went down and um, the Parkinson's affects your nerves. Mm. And I went in and I'm swimming around, and swimming used to be my thing, yeah, you know, you I used to like to swimming. And um, he basically had to carry me out. My legs went. Really? My legs just went. Mm. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm more or less lying on the beach. And I said, come and get me, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know. That must and, have been uh, frustrating. That, 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 that must have been um, frustrating for you as well because you've always been so active. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I thought this year I've, I've made up my mind that... Um, I'm going to take it gentle and work up to it because I think I can still uh, go. But the thing was, um, uh, as I say, I, I, I was very, very lucky as a younger boy because I um, I used to go swimming. Um, uh, I had a mate, Kelly, and uh, we, we would go to um, a, 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 a weightlifting club at a gym um, during the week, boxing club, you know, the lads club. Mm. And then on um, on a Saturday, we would go to Brumhill Baths mm. and swim a quarter of a mile, you know. The yeah. old quarter that where the old diving boards were yeah. in Ipswich. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and then on, and then on a Sunday... Freezing that ball. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Mm. And, we, and, and, the, and the weightlifting club boys, we used to meet on the beach mm. and we, uh, opposite... Mannings and we used to call it Muscle Beach yeah. and old Cal and I we'd swim from Mannings up to the pier and back and all that sort of rubbish <laughs> yeah. you know so when I went into the RAF I, I was well fit mm. and the thing is when we um, used to go out and do the road work when we were training for the for the old group uh, you know um, I used to be so full of running that I'd be out there doing the road work and they'd be back there and they'd say, Bennett, you're a creep, you know, meaning <laughs> yeah. you're trying to get round a sergeant, yeah, look how yeah, fit yeah. I am. Yeah. And, um, but that was how how fit it was. Yeah. And um, so you, as I you've said... You've obviously always had that get up and go in you then. Been very, yeah. I've been very, very lucky. You've always been and, quite structured with your routine, haven't you, Dad? Dad thought, yeah. I think that must be yes. the yeah. RAF or something. Yeah, yeah. That's, maybe the police. That's, that's just, it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but as I say, and... Um, but the thing is, everybody has to have their own mind, don't they? Because yes. now, uh, you'll meet him sometime. Um, you'll meet Sean, Claire's brother, and um, he's he, he's heading towards 60, see? Yeah. And he's a big old boy. For, he's an antique dealer. Mm. Now, um, I'll show you the f photo before you go. And um, he came to the lads club five or six times. And then one day, and he was still only a little, and one day he said, um, I shan't be coming anymore, Dad. No. I said, won't you, son? He said, no. I, he said, um, boxing's not for me. And he said, I know you're going to be cross. I said, no. Mm. I said, because I said, I admire you because you've got your own mind. Yeah, exactly. You know, in other words, and he doesn't do any boxing, but like yourself, he's a big man. Mm. He's a big strong man yeah, you yeah, know he, yeah. he's made us all laugh now because he's because he's an antique dealer yeah and they have like footballers they have their hairstyles and he's growing his hair down here now you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> and he, he, he said i suppose you i said no and it was like um uh he had the chance to join the police force see mm -hmm. but um and i and i said you, you're going to he said uh no and so somebody said uh yeah, you're not going to be like your dad. He said, that is it. And I said, I'm proud of my son, I said, because he does his own thing. Yeah. Not not just just because I, there's a lot of, of them who were yeah. policemen 
whose fathers had been coppers, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and I um, everyone's got to find their own way in life, don't they? Yeah. That, that's yeah. right. Mm. But see, the thing is, um, and I'll I'll keep that side of it brief. But the, you see, the thing was, um, there were a lot of blokes I I, I mixed with who. Uh, they weren't people that you'd like. It was like, because um, I was on the miners' strike and I made pals with the miners because to my way of thinking, uh, they had wrong done to them. We, yeah. we knew that the mines were going to have to close, but the way Maggie Thatcher did it, yeah, because they were heroes. Who, who the want? I mean, they they let me, they took you down the bottom of mine and you go down, I don't know if you've ever been down the mine, but that's... Mm. Uh, and you, they were heroes, mm. and um, and the thing was, um, I um, made pals with them. And one day they were cutting up the wood, and I stripped down to me vest, <laughs> and I was getting near retirement, see. And um, I'm cutting wood, and the inspector came along because I never made rank. I couldn't pass exams. I, I was a, uh, I made CID. I was a detective for a few years, you know. Yeah. But I, but you didn't have to pass an exam for that. You got that on if you were good enough, you know. So I, um, uh, so I cut the wood. And the inspector come along. Well, I was an older cop, and him and I were mates. Yeah. And he said, "The hell are you doing?" And I said, "Public relations, sir." <laughs> so he said, um, um, "Carry on, Harry." Uh, you know, and off he went. And these some of these young coppers, they said, well, what do you do that for? Yeah. I said, if you've got to ask, son, you ain't going to understand my answer. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, they they were fine men. Yeah. I mean, um, and uh, to my way of thinking, I didn't like what I was doing. But if you've got a family, you've got to make your bread, haven't you? Yeah. But those old miners, they used to say, while you're up here, there's someone down there doing the business with your missus. You yeah. know, all that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but, um, but no, my, my attitude is, uh, that's why I say to you, um, if, if you ever came up here and spar around, um, I mean, not that I'm in the condition to do anything, no. but um, uh, I, 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 I would never... Yeah, I get what play, you're Because I'm done a bit I yeah. would never uh, you yeah know. I'd, I'd, so, lo I'd love to come up here and just like do you yeah. show me just well, a few things give me some tips and, and ideas because I really don't have a clue what I'm doing if I'm honest well, I just, <laughs> well, just said yes to it. The, the, the thing about it is that um, if I'd known I, I, I could have coached I, I, I never coached but I could have done because if I'd known when I was younger yeah what I know now, I would have been a much better fighter. Yeah. Because I knew about the left hook, but I never really. But now, if I'm like on the bag, I'm it's hook, hook, hook. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the thing is, as a younger bloke, I didn't I didn't sort of have that, yeah. you know. But um, but as I say, um, you 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 can learn from the books. I mean, like when I um. When I read about this um, solar plexus punch mm. uh, that Bob Fitz Simmons did to Corbett, um, I, I boxed a boy that night, and and I, I was singing about the book and while I'm boxing, and he's he was open. And I thought, do what Bob did, mm. and I hit the boy and, and floored him and knocked yeah. him out. <laughs> yeah, so you can learn from yeah, book, you, know, yeah. you know, and um, and as I, I say, remember this conversation on ju yeah, in June. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when yeah, I'm laying on my back, <laughs> that's it. I should have in there. Yeah, but yeah. you got up to date, and you got Muhammad Ali. But I, uh, I, 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 that might sound strange, but I never ever liked Ali no. because I, I thought my hero was um, Joe Louis. Mm. Was Joe Louis? Mm. You know, the old brown bomber. Mm. Um, but Ali. To my way of thinking, there's no doubt about it. He was, I mean, he he was a, a fantastic. But but the thing was, he um, he neglected himself because that's what brought about the Parkinson's with him. Mm. I mean, 
uh, like a, uh, a woman uh, said, do you think that your boxing could have created your Parkinson? And I said, possible. Mm. But with Ali, uh, towards the end, he was so confident that he thought he could go in without doing a lot of training. Mm. And if you watch some of his last fights, and there was one fight where they had to quit, where he had to quit, wasn't there? Yeah. But when somebody, he was starting to go flabby. Mm -hmm. And so when he was fighting people like Foreman and that, he was getting pounded. And mm -hmm. of course, that created the, yeah. the Parkinson's, yeah. to, you know, how bad it was. But um, yeah, but uh, yeah, so, so. Um, I'm sorry if I've rabbited on. No, it's again. been brilliant yeah. talking yeah. to you, man. No, really, no, really good. Yeah. I, I yeah. wanted to ask you, Harry, about your your London Marathon. You you did some um, running as well. Uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah. I did the old London four times, four times, and the fourth time I, I, I was seventy. Oh really? <laughs> oh, yeah. You done the London and, Marathon at seventy the, years the old. Thing, Pardon? You done the London Marathon at seventy years old? Uh, 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 yeah, for four, four, four years, uh, four, four times I ran it. Yeah, and I was <laughs> seven. And the last time I ran it, I was seventy. Wow! See? And the thing is, I ran it, but the, you see, age pick. Uh, you know, uh, let's put it like this: the old Lord, he gives, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> but he takes away. Yeah. And when I first ran, I, I was fifty, and um, I did a three seventeen, which is not too bad. But when so I but, <laughs> but when I was seventy, yeah. five and a half hours. Yeah. Say life, yeah. it, 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 still taking it away. And that was raining as well. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was it. Yeah. I remember that was and, raining. Yeah. but I ran it and I completed it. And where it came from, I don't know. But when I got, I turned the corner, and there was the um, the old what's the name? The man. Um, the man. Uh, it, mouth, um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Pants, yeah. And I could see the end. Mm -hmm. And where it come from, I don't know. Yeah. But I literally had a sprint left, you yeah. know. And I, I went, and they're doing high five all the because the people they're all mm -hmm. doing high five yeah, as yeah. go <laughs> by. And I, and I, um, I, I finished. You know what I mean? And um, you doing it again uh, next year? <laughs> but, yeah. And uh, and I and I did the old Pennine way as well. You know, yeah, he had a walk. Yeah. Um, the old Pennine way. And um, and as I say, uh, uh, but it, it, but it's it's been good. But um, as I say, um, uh, now I've got myself fit again. There was one time when I thought, oh, you're on your way out, you know. Mm. But uh, I've got fit again, and so now I think to myself, well, June eighty nine, and then in twenty four, I'll be ninety. Yeah, be ninety. Yeah. And um, I'll probably have a party then, see. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah. Party. and uh, yeah. And can we um, come? Yeah. But, I'll, I'll, but I'll, yeah. I, will, I will say this without any bullshit. Um, yeah. I've met you, and you come over as a really couple of real yeah, good ge that. gentlemen, you know. Yeah. That. And um, um, I, 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 I came from a tough old dad he never boxed but my granddad did yeah you know and um i, I, I can show you their photos yeah. um you know in a minute or yeah, you know yeah, when yeah, you yeah. when you like and um and uh, i can show you some of the books and if you want to take any um to read you're, you're more than welcome because mm. they're there you know so uh, Appreciate so that, you know I'll, I'll show you but um but as I say, these these um, last ones here, mm -hmm. um, this one came uh, today. Um, this one, um, I got this one today. That's that's Jeff. That's Jeffrey's. Yeah. That he was. So in other words, that was John L. L. You see, yeah. and he 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 became a uh, he became an alcoholic. You know, yeah, but he right. still fought. Yeah. Um, give him credit, mm -hmm. and. Um, he he lost to Corbett and Corbett introduced the style. Yes, you know yeah. what I mean. And then um, do you do a lot of reading then? You do you, you read a lot then? You read. A oh lot. Yeah, yeah, hell of a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Hell of a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because well, I'm retired, so, so yeah. I've got the time. But um, the, but that was Jack Johnson. Yeah. And uh, he was a good old boy. Mm -hmm. But they insulted him. You know, called him all sorts of names. It's a different world back then, though, weren't it? Different and, world back then, weren't it? Yeah, yeah, and he was the first black heavyweight, you know. Yeah. And uh, as I say, um, 
James J. Jeffries, when he was a champ, he was a good champion, you can see, because he looks up, but, um, but when he got in the ring with him, it yeah. insulted him. Yeah. And he taught, gave him a, taught him a lesson. Bloody yeah. good old. Yeah. 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 Probably so, been uh, thinking about doing that for a long time before yeah. he done it, didn't he? Yeah. So I've, um, so I've, re I've read that one, um, and um, I've, I've just got a bit to read on that, and then I'll, um, I'll be starting on that. You know what I mean? Nice. But I'll, I'll show you some photos if you like. I made a comeback. I made a comeback, <laughs> and he said, um, "I know a little about this, Harry." He said, "And I don't think you are." So I said, um, "We we actually won. Yeah. Uh, that that well, th that right. was the winning winning team yeah, of the Wakefield Championships. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it was it was a winning winning team now. Oh no, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed I, that. I, 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 didn't, I, just, I, just, I didn't know you were going to be good old boys like that. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I can tell you that you was as soon as I walked through the front door. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know what, yeah I just, I you got a good aura about you. Yeah, you, well, you 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 know with people, don't you? Yeah, exactly. You know? exactly. That's as I say. Um, um, like on the minor start, I'll, I'll 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 show the pictures another time because yeah. I, I, I don't want to go through any more of that. But um, I had pictures taken with the miners, you know, yeah. with their arms round, and, and, yeah, and the yeah. thing is, um, uh, you know, and and they'd say, uh, why is why are you like you are, Harry, and um, the rest are, mm. you know, because their attitude. That, um, I mean, there were policemen there. They treated the miners like enemy. Yeah. You know what I mean, I, and th there was one time. Oh, oh it was beautiful. Um, we were trying to move the lads on, so all you had to do was say, um, "Keep moving, lads." You didn't push or shove, because yeah. they were gentlemen, you know. Yeah. And we had the Metropolitan Police with us as well see mm. well they were treating these rural miners like the bloody london crap you know yeah see so anyway um this metropolitan policeman next to me he gave this miner a shove so i said hang on mate i said what are you doing and he said what do you mean i said what are you doing he said whose side are you on and I said, well, that might sound corny. I said, put them on the side of right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I take them piss, you see. Yeah. And I said, but I'll tell you something, boy. I said, you're in uniform. I said, out of your uniform, you wouldn't have pushed that miner. Because yeah. the miner, it was tough old miner, see. Yeah. And the miner turned around and he said, excuse me, friend, I swear again. The, the <laughs> miner turned around and he said, Fucking right, yeah. you know what I mean, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. But you got all that. You, mm. you got that. I mean, I, uh, I mean, on on, on CID, mm. um, God, uh, I, you, you just couldn't believe how some of them were. Mm. But you see, the thing is, how it was, I couldn't pass exams, and I, I had to go up and see the super one day, and he said, Harry. He said, I want to make you up. He said, I want to make you a sergeant. He said, but he said, you haven't passed your exam. He said, now there's a report of this other bloke. He said, I've got to make him up now. He said, and he's not the copper that you are. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't, I, I just, I, I, I don't know whether you, either you have, but I uh, see, I suppose I was a schoolboy during the war. And you know you got evacuated, so I probably went to about six or seven schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, and when I was over in Cyprus, that was all training and that. Mm -hmm. I weren't studying. Mm -hmm. Whereas at that age, a lot of other people are at university yeah. and all that, and they're all, yeah, all yeah, working. Yeah, see, yeah. so uh, so I never. And um, but these blokes who did pass the exams, they made like, well, one of them made de de detective constable. You yeah. know. Uh, detective inspector and I, I showed him round the beat and I was uh, you know and they were uh, and some of them were coming into CID ex university boys um, you know and they'd get made up but they they weren't um, the same copper but you know I, I sort of worked away in the old CID and um, and these blokes were getting made up because as I say 
like they passed their exams. Yeah. And um, and there was one of them. Um, I um, I had to go to this firm one day, and I, I I went to see the the governor, and in the yard was a bloke who I dealt with, see, f for criminal, yeah. and. And I said, oh, Bill, are you all right, mate? And he said, yeah. And he said, Harry, he said, before you go, you won't tell him, will you? I said, what do you mean? He said, that I've done stir. So I said, of course I bloody well won't. Yeah. I said, as far as I'm concerned, you've had your punishment, no more. Yeah. So that was it. Next day I had to go back and he called me over. He said, I'm out, Harry. I said, you what? He said, I got the sack. I said, you don't think, he said, it weren't you, he said. And then another detective who worked with me had gone in there and told the governor straight away, do you know you got in your yard? Mm -hmm. So I mean, you, you work with us. I mean, mm -hmm. um, um, there is a saying, all coppers are bastards, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, I'll tell you, I mix with some. Mm -hmm. I think you um, were quite fair though, weren't you, Dad? Mm. But but I I, uh, I weren't brought up that way because my my dad, mm. he died before the miners' strike, but if he'd known that I'd gone up on that, he would have just turned around and said, "Dirty money, son," mm. you know, "dirty money," <laughs> because uh, they should never have been treated the way they were. Yeah. I mean, and that was about the third miners' strike I'd been on, and the previous ones they were still up there, you know, because we didn't go up to the mines and they came down to our power stations and that. Mm. And I remember meeting one on the gate and he was a fine looking man, you know, and you, you really looked up to him and then you see what Maggie Thatcher did to him, you know, mm. yeah. But, um, but yeah, you know, I mean, um, you had pol uh, trouble in politics then and of course, we've got it now, haven't yeah. we? You know, yeah, but movie. see, what I find hard is that um, all I keep going on about is, um, oh, we've had um, three prime ministers in the last few months and um, and, home, uh, and home secretaries and all that sort of thing. And I think, why keep bringing that up? All right, that don't matter what politics a man is, whether he's conservative or Labour, as far as I'm concerned, they've got old Rishi in now and mm -hmm. as the Prime Minister. Don't keep moaning about him, back him, mm -hmm. you know. And my dad and mum brought us up during the war and of course there weren't benefits then, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And um, he, my old dad, he, he had a fight to live really. I mean, yeah. uh, you'd go out on a Saturday night with him, the family, we'd go to the Labour Club and mm. the next thing he was out in the hall having a fight with someone, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but he was, uh, only five foot eight, but he was, he was terrific. Yeah. He, he never boxed, you know. Uh, he used to take a mick, you know, he used to say, you know, <laughs> he, 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 he was a dirty fighter. Yeah. I mean, uh, he'd, uh, uh, kick in the crutch or, or, or whatever, yeah. you know, that was his attitude, yeah. 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 But, um, but uh, uh, yeah, but, but as I say, you you um, let let Claire know. Yeah. yeah, I mean you know where I am. Definitely, and, I think that'd be good for you. And come be good for me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Talk about things. Absolutely. Well, yeah. that that means both of you if you yeah, want. Yeah. You know. Yeah, definitely. That's it. You, do, do you mind if we get a picture of you, Buster? Is that right? Pardon? Yeah. Yeah. Do you mind if we get a picture we'll get a all picture. together? Yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. get a picture now. Yeah. That's, that's it. Right? Yeah. Me to... you get in it. You turn oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. You turn the yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh.